Is there anybody home up there in that big white house? What do I want? I have a message for the king of Babylon. From who? It's from me. Who am I? Don't you recognize your own son? Well, I guess I have changed a lot since you knew me. Actually, back then, I didn't even know myself. But I've traveled and learned a lot since I left home. My name? Well, according to your official records, I am Jarrett Leone, born February 15, 1974, at 7.35 p.m. in Manhattan, New York. My message? Well, it's kind of personal. So may I come up to deliver it in person? Somehow I didn't think so. Okay, I will speak very loudly then and try not to care who overhears. Are you ready? This war is over! Because I found my tribe and I raised my vibe and I am not afraid anymore. Remember way back when I almost let you deploy me, but I choked and something in me broke and the sound of it snapped me out of it. So then you tried to sedate me, distract me, and destroy me, but I survived and I am revived and I am more alive than ever. So now I'm on a new mission, and it's not mission impossible, it's mission inevitable. And my resistance was not futile, but your persistence is because this war between you and me is over. You failed, and you don't even know it. You and your crew are on a cracked and rotting ship while the rigging slip and I am like the sea seeping in to fill your empty hearts and render your weapons useless. If you choose to make me your enemy, you will go insane trying in vain to kill me because I will become the ocean, absorbing bullets and slowing them as your swords pass right through me. My surface will be a mirror reflecting your twisted faces until your own realization weakens your will and I will become the wind thwarting your course as your swords pass right through me. And if you do cut me down, I will be like a weed in your garden whose roots you can never reach. And I will come up everywhere, stronger in everyone, blossoming yellow like the sun and casting seeds upon the ether. And for every one you kill, there will be one hundred others that spring up upon your hill like blades of grass that crack the pavement. Don't you see that your persistence is futile because I have found the truth? Oh, I admit, you almost won. You almost had me, with a gun in my hand as soon as I could stand, hitting bullseyes on man-shaped targets at seven years old, putting holes in coffee cans, and later at 18 I voted your dad into office and burned Iraqi flags two steps from the armed forces because I aced all the right courses. Oh yeah, you were slick, subliminal, sublime, whispering persistently over time with patriarchal fascism and patriotic fanaticism, but now I am a true patriot demanding the release of my matriarch, and I will never ever be fooled again, because I've learned a few things since then, and now I know exactly who I am. So in case you wish to update your official records, my name means descendant of the lion, and I sprang forth from the heart of God into the heart of Babylon, an Aquarius born in the age of Aquarius. I know exactly what I am. Son of the lion, disciple of the lamb. I am, I am, I am an artist, poet, anti-warrior, priest, painting a sermon song of unconditional love and peace. And I am a non-soldier in these unarmed forces, wielding words instead of weapons, dropping beats instead of bombs. I am beyond your control and beyond your reach because I am a metamorphic, metaphysical, meta-man channeling Metatron. I am an act of God, a force of nature, and a choir of angels in human form. I am unbreakable, unshakable, unwillable, and unkillable. And I am still red, white, and blue, but now I am red like a burning ball of solar energy searing through the night sky, dispelling fear, consuming hatred, and converting it to love. And I am blue like a crackling electric bolt of lucid thought, leaping the synapse between earth and heaven, shattering this atmosphere of ignorance. And I am white like the eternal breath of pure pranic sound radiating outward and inward in every direction, moving through all things, healing disease, revealing divine, and leaving the reverberations of my prayers behind. So I will tell you again, this war between us is over because I will not hate. I will love you. I will love you as you steal. I will love you as you kill. I will love you as you rape. I will love you as you bomb, break, and destroy. I will love you until your desire to conquer is gone, your energy is spent, and you break down in tears at the wreckage. And then I will forgive you, and together we will rebuild this world. 
I will love you with all of my might because hatred is hatred no matter where it comes from and where it goes. And I have hated for far too long. I have hated for you and I have hated against you. I have given you power with my hate. I have given you shelter with my hate. I have given you weapons with my hate. I have fed and clothed you with my hate. And now I know the secret you have tried to hide from me for so long. Your unconditional love is the ultimate power, and prayers for peace are more potent than atomic bombs. That is what it means to chant down Babylon. So now I know what I am. I am you, and you are me, and we are one. I know what we are now. We are pure living energy, and we radiate outward in every direction, and we move through every single thing on earth, leaving a little bit of ourselves behind. I know what we are now. We are one. We are one body. We are one spirit. We are one mind. And everything we do, we are doing to everything. So I declare this war to be over, because we are one, and I will not hate myself, and I will not hate you. I will love you unconditionally.